Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play New Pets, The Darkest Fairy. I'm your host, the Game of Darius, and I'm about to get filthy stinking rich as I collect more treasure. I'm assuming I'm about to collect more treasure anyways. I wonder if that's supposed to be Fiora. I don't know, it looks very polygonal to be Fiora. Polygonal? Yeah, that's the word. No! Oh, go away! I'm just here to collect your treasure and kill you demonic things. And only one of those should you really care about. Now go away whilst I collect the treasure part at least. He is very close. Ow! Oh, freaking supernova. Well. Uh, ain't gonna lie. I actually don't really know how the hell to get into this district. Well, I'm in the district, but I mean into the part where I need to do the shrine bits for this district. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to get enough money for the rest of the stuff that I want. Hmm. Oh, door seems to be locked from the inside. Okay. Gladiator shrine. Yeah, this is still there. Which I did last time over, well, last time being like three episodes ago. So I don't know why the hell that won't go away. Just a glitch. Oh, is this a dude? No, it's an egg. A spotted egg. Yep, very poisoned. Much pain. Dark ass moat. Can I enter any of these houses? Hmm. There, guys, what? If I don't reach the inside of that uh, shrine by the five minute mark, I'll probably have to look it up. Probably will. Because I hate being poisoned. And I hate being chased around by monstrosities that are just plain annoying. In. It's locked from the inside. Maybe I have to go to one of the sides of the house. Or sides of the large ass house. Maybe I gotta do something with the statues again, much like I did in the last episode. Second to last episode. Yes. I don't know. Go away. God damn, those brutes just literally appear out of absolutely nowhere. You would think that the thief would be from the money district, not the park district. But that might just be me. You know, thief, stealing, whatnot. What is in here? Oh, another spotted an egg. Ooh, grass! Ow. Oh, 100 Neo points. I would be farming that specific spot forever. Because I did find out that the um, golden grass does regenerate after about a minute or so of waiting there. But if I'm going to get like 6,000 Neo points from one place of grass, then yeah, I'm going to be waiting a while. Locked from the inside, so yeah, I just have to find an alternative way of getting in. Not sure about how I'm gonna do that. Maybe there's. Wait. I seem to recall something with the library. You know, that uh, large marker on my thing that was, you know, a book. Hello? I would like in. Oh! Okay, I can enter the library. Cool. Hello? I- Gee, thanks again, camera. This camera's gonna get me killed. Just saying. Uh, Fate of the Deceiver. Oh! This is telling what's happened to the darkness, but... For a group of equals, it was ult the ultimate sin. The Mistress of Nightmares had tried to seize control. For this, she was banished. The Twelve became Eleven, even as the Dark One promised revenge. Okay, that's uneventful. I totally knew that already happened. Yeah, that dude with the fire... I don't know what exploded off camera, but it sounded violent. So 
at this point, I'm just running, right? Like, all I'm doing is running, letting the minions burn all these books by accident. That seems to be the case. Sorry, not sorry. I prefer my life over the books. Oh, maybe there's alternative treasure as well. I don't know why it's spoken like, you know. Um, there is no map of the library. Got it. What's this? Kill him quick. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Master of the Shadows. He did a thing. Cool. Uh, that's all nice and dandy, but I would like to figure out how to get in to the thing. Is this the right way? Hope it's the right way. It's gonna suck if it was the wrong way. Or it was the right way and... Oh! I follow the waterway. Well, that's relatively simple. Now I'm just trying to figure out how the hell we figured this out, like, so long ago. Because, once again, we didn't have the internet at that time. Or at least not as easily access to the internet at that time. Mm, okay. Sweet. Free starring egg. I kind of wish everything else in this game was free. Freaking... More red eggs being free, golden eggs being free. What else could it be free that would be really nice to have free? Better weapons and armor. Those would be nice too. Oh my god. I'm vaguely remembering this. Well, I'm not sure if I'm remembering it or just getting remembering the premise. I believe what I have to do is use these scales and jump get onto the thank you because I have to use these scales wrong way tour thank you yes that's it good tour just use these scales to get to the upper parts that's pretty much it no, not let go, you dope. I did not tell him to let go. He just let go by himself. Shanky ass controls! Huh, different sound for stepping on this area. Hmm. Break that. You can for five whole new points. Somewhere the merchant dude that is all cool and whatnot. It's really sad that I just broke that. Oh well. Alright. So we've got that. Just jump up here. Huh. I don't know why I seem to remember a lot of this older part being a lot harder. Like, I remember an extensively long balancing beam part for Kellen's whole thing. I really don't remember having to get the pet pets onto the buttons. Okay, if this guy doesn't give me a shit ton of money, by the time that I leave this place, I'm going to be pissed. Find and revive the sleeping treasurer legend. Is it just giving me these quests as I go along? Oh, it's a maze. Okay, so if I... Forward... Yeah, okay. There's probably a shit ton of treasure in this maze, too. I went the wrong way. Yes. Mazes aren't much of mazes when you have the maps to them. Just saying. It's like, you know, why even bother with a maze? If you're just gonna be all like, oh hey, here's the way out. Because that makes things incredibly simple. I could have been in there for another five minutes or so. But nope. The game was like, here, the maze is on your map. And I was like, ow. Okay. So now, do I actually have to kill these things? 
looks like a yes. Or maybe I have to find some switches. Oh, fine. We'll switch to a bird ass. And she's the one that's good against these sorts of minions. I.e. the super flying one that can't hit with a sword. Yep. Exhilarated combat. Sitting back and just railing on the circle button. Do I just go through the thing? Or do I have to go back into the maze? Ah, now things are a little bit more interesting. Not by much. Just a little bit. Well, clearly I don't have to go through the maze this way. So where do I have to go then? There might be a switch that I have to hit. Well, it's very clear I have to hit some sort of switch or do some sort of thing. I don't know if that was part of the music or was something moving around. It's a weird shuffly sort of noise. Oh! Switch. Oh. That should have made it so as I can go across on the other side? Maybe? Got the feeling the map is going to be more useless though. Uh, no? This way? Mm, yep, 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 yep. Ha! Damn it! Just warned that I was just going to open the door. Well, okay, less could have sworn and more was really hoping. So now I just gotta find those switches. Should be against the wall. Begin the wall. I can really talk right now. Where's this the way? Who is this? It's like the complete other side of where I entered the room. Okay. Yeah, this is where the weights were. Why am I back out here? I'm almost too afraid to jump down because I really rather not have to go back all the way through that maze again. Especially from the looks of it that that maze is now shut from the other side. I'm gonna hope that's not the case. I missed a lot. It had five Neo points in it. Okay, I'm gonna continue looking around the maze for a little bit. So I'm pretty sure that there should be something in here. Something I have to hit. Like a switch. Demon. Any demons I have to hit in here? That's another really open room with light notes. Okay. There we go. At least it's treasure. And not just nothing. I like this treasure. Not when it's just a moat, though. Because that just got... Oh. That's a lot of switches. Okay, clearly I had to figure out... Okay. No. Okay, I gotta do it in the right order. I get so many tries. Okay, so it's the one furthest to the left. Let's try the one furthest to the right. Okay. And left or right. When in doubt, go left. Yeah! I did it. I did it. I did it. La 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 la. Now to try to find my way back to the door. Gotta find my way back through the door. Uh, what the hell is that about, Roberta? I mean, I know that you were happy that you found the way to the thing, but, you know. 
and I can't undo the switches. Hmm. Weird. By the way, if anyone keeps on seeing like green flashes uh, on the screen, whenever I'm playing, oh, it's down here. Derp. That's just my the uh, power that the cable seems to keep on picking up from when I when my refrigerator turns back on and off. Oh, I see where this is going. I got to make a little teapot. Alright, so I have to find the other ones, which should be on the four different corners. This is an easy puzzle. Puzzle's easy. Just trying to sit there and not get mauled by a bunch of teams on the other hand. That might be the harder part. Okay. That should be good. Looks like it should be good. It's like a giant key. See, that's an impressive mechanism for a, like, a locking thing. Might just be my point of view, but still, it's impressive. I don't know if that really unlocked anything, but I'd be better be getting like a shit ton of Nia points. I know that's a thing I keep on repeating, but I better be getting a shit ton of Nia points. Might as well save just in case of something bad happening. Uh-huh. So I think the obvious thing is obvious. And that A, I should murder these things. Okay, how is there still money pouring into these giant banks? I'm just saying. I think the obvious thing should be said that I must push the certain colored ones onto these buttons. Yes? No? Hmm. Maybe it's in the value that there are? Seriously, if I could stuff like a hundred thousand of that into my pocket, that would be. Oh, they're gonna make me do this. So what I think I have to do now is take the next color, and drag it all the way over this end. Ooh, boy. When they made this game, they really decided to test one's patience, didn't they? I wonder if I can jump into that and accidentally die. Well, better not test that. Bad enough I had to deal with uh, minions. Come on. Move, move. How much are you bastards going to spawn? Because it's annoying. Stop it. Murder. Keep pushing into the. You gotta be. You know what? Fine. I'll keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. The wrong block, I know. <sighs> Maybe the blocks that I have to push are based on value? Like, this will be the last one I have to push in because it looks like it's gold. I think. Might be gold. Ow. Scummy McScumbag? Hold still and take your medicine. I seem to move faster when I'm moving things to the side. Like this. How the hell did it shoot the block? You know what? 
don't bother answering that. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't care. As long as I, uh, as long as I get this, you know, whole world-saving business done and over with right now. Oh, I think it's based on the color of the plate, not on the color of the sun on the plate. Why does that suddenly seem like the most derp moment I've had in this particular video, at the least? Probably because it's not the truth. I can't handle the truth. Well, at least that other one has moved on to this platform so that I don't have to move it as far. No, stop block. Oh, sure, my blocks get stopped. My, my. What? In <laughs> okay. Oh, go the frick frack away, you bastards. Go away. I have one more block to move. I don't need your lanky ass bastardy bastardisms moving them all around. Seriously. All that Neo point. I just I just need enough to buy some, you know, weapons, and armor, maybe some groceries for the week. No? Is there nothing else in here? Am I just going to walk up to the statue and he'll be all like, Oh, 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 you have saved the day. Yep. token of my appreciation and a mere pittance for your troubles. Should you ever have need of my services, feel free to give me a call. <laughs> I wasn't completely off with his voice. Um, not a whole lot of Neo points, but all right. Now, the decision of whether or not I'm going to armor up Roberta or armor up Tor it's going to be Torment. Like, I pretty much made that decision in my head well before I started this LP. Am I going to be armoring and weaponing up Torment, or am I going to be doing so for Roberta? Nah, nah, it's pretty much going to be Torment, by the way, because, you know, Everyone know, knows how I feel about uh, spellcasters at this point. Or at least they should. Seriously, if you've been following my channel, go watch all my other stuff and see how I feel about spellcasters or warrior characters. That's right, every last video of mine. All of them. Right now. Uh, okay. That, that took a while to load. That made me legitimately worry. Well, then again, I kind of have been playing this nearly all day. A good portion of the day. Is this the one with the armor shop? Which one was the one? Nope, not that one. I completely forgot which one was the one with the armor shop, and it was the one all the way over to the right. Well, this does allow me to get more jubies. Hmm? Which, by the looks of it, that luck stat is really paying out. With how many jupies I'm getting, that is. Because apparently the more jupies you have, the better chance of things dropping and all that fun stuff. Which makes sense. But now, to make Tor look like a right badass. You know, not that he doesn't look like a badass enough. Yes, Altadorian Plates! I've never seen armor like this before. It's flexible like chainmail, tough as plate, but light as cloth. Why don't we have this back in Mirrodel? 
Aw, yeah. Straight up badass armor, that's what that is. I mean, I could deal... I, I'd probably want to keep boots, because I have a thing for wanting to keep my toes. But you know what? Personal taste. That's all personal taste. Alright, I'm going to hit up this safe spot and call it an episode. When we return, there's a giant door on the other side of that wall thing over there where I came from. And I believe that's where we shall open it. And what's beyond it, I actually don't recall. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.